What's up guys? Jesse Jardine with Thrash Lifting here. A little bit of a different view today. Looking pretty nice for fucking March, man. Vancouver, not raining. Sunday today, real lame last night, didn't go out. Fucking all good. Got a new dime for your hat. Pretty sick. Drinking my protein shake after a workout. All fucking good. So today I got a couple topics I want to talk about. Lifting heavy again. Uh, feeling a lot better. No more joint pain. Gym's way better lately. Pumps back. Everything's good there. Breaking PRs. Did a uh, bench press five sets of five two oh five. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, incline press nineties now. That's a new PR. Getting the 90s up is the hardest part about that. And fucking, I think there was another one too. But, and uh, I'm changing my high, I've been doing low bar for like two years, so I'm going back to high bar. I used to high bar squat like 315 before I hurt my knees, so going back to that. I noticed I can hit way lower depth. So bringing that back in and sumo deadlifting instead of normal deadlifting because uh, I think it'll be beneficial in the end. Fuck, the other day I did uh, did some pause squats, low bar, and some fucking sumo deadlifts, and my ass was real sore for about five days. Good old sore asses. So yeah, that's been going pretty good. Pretty much what my split right now is, uh, day one is chest and shoulders, which I just did today, and then day two is back and legs. So usually it's two power exercises, for five sets of five. So for example, the other day I did five sets of bench. I always bench in the squat rack so I don't kill myself, but five sets of five at 205. And then the other day for squats, I did 225, five sets of five. Probably gonna have gone heavier, but I'm really trying to grind in my form again. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, yeah, so. And usually on leg and back day, it's uh, five sets of deadlift and five sets of squats. And then three sets of eight for reps and then usually arms for about a half hour, as hard as I can hit them. I backed off on arms today and didn't do them, so. All right. All right, so now for the uh, metaphysical part of the show, or the Elliot Hulse part of the show. So today I want to talk about energy projection, which is something weird I've been noticing lately where how the thoughts in your head as you talk to someone dictate how they perceive you, you know what I mean? Something I've been really noticing, because I used to be a really fucking negative person, and I'd walk around life thinking that everyone was out to get me, because that's kind of how it was in high school. But you're not your past, no one knows your past, they only know what you are now. Especially moving the fuck out of Medicine Hat, man. Everyone. Nice to have a new start out in Vancouver. But it's been really nice lately. I pretty much go out to the bar as much as I can just to experiment with social interactions and things like that. And one thing I've been noticing is like that your attitude dictates how people treat you. So for example, I don't know, if you walk up to like a woman and you're kind of scared, kind of in your own head, she's not going to like you. You're not going to be presented, presenting your best self forward. But if you walk up and you're having a great time and you're not really worried about what's gonna happen or if she's gonna like you or not, and you're just being you, then that usually seems to have a totally different impact on people. Same with like, I used to walk around the fucking bar and shit, just like judging people, cause I don't know, I used to be like really fucking stupid. Like if you didn't have long hair, fuck you, like shit like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I had to get over that shit. One thing I've been realizing lately is that everyone has their own journey or path through life. And that if you try and interfere or judge or change other people's paths, it just makes your path to your destination longer. And there's usually multiple paths. You know, like you'll get one thing and then you're like, okay, I've done that, I want to get this now. Or that's usually normal, healthy growth. One problem I've been noticing lately is uh, spreading myself too thin on too many different projects. Like I have my band going right now. There's jam space right there. Manual electric, if you can see that. Right beside that broken shit. 
and that's been going pretty good. Been looking for a bass player, but that's pretty time consuming, writing lyrics and writing songs and shit. And got a new guitar player maybe joining. So we got that, and then bodybuilding a lot. I don't know if it's bodybuilding or strength training. It used to be for bodybuilding, but I've been thinking more about getting into powerlifting lately because, fuck man. Guys like Dan Green, man, like that guy's physique, that's kind of, that's what I want to look like, you know what I mean? Not fucking smaller, like shredded guys. I don't, I've never really wanted to look like that, so. But yeah, like fucking got that and that, and then currently I'm jobless. It fucking sucks, it's starting to get to me. You know, I stay busy and shit, but it's nice to have income coming in. Got fucked over on EI. Fuck you, Cannibal Cafe, don't go there. And yeah, a lot of fucking different shit. I've been thinking about starting a gaming channel too, because I'm a big gamer. Dark Souls 2 comes out in two days. Just played uh, South Park The Stick of Truth. That was a fucking wicked game. Especially because I've been playing a lot of old school Genesis and Super Nintendo games. So that was like, it's all old school. It's all like 2D, like fucking. Paper Mario Combat, and then there's even like a, when they go to Canada and it's like an NES, like fucking Legend of Zelda, like overworld. Pretty sweet. So I guess this hasn't really been as much about lifting as fucking other parts of my life, but not everything can be about lifting all the time. And with that, Jesse Jardine with Thrash Lifting, and I may not have the. Oh, fuck that up. May not be the biggest guy, but. I do have pretty long hair.